home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. No matter where you are, odds are, if you find yourself far from the busy city life, deep in the wilderness, look up and you might just see. High above mountains and treetops, ocean waves and desert landscapes. Soaring majestically over us, across the clear blue skies and starry nights, the kings of the ether, hunters of the heavens, birds of prey. Though many fine birds are predators, in ornithology, raptors, or birds of prey, are defined as an interrelated group of predatory birds, all with exceptional eyesight. Strong grip, with most having large curved talons for holding their prey, and a prominent strong curved beak, designed to tear at the flesh of their prey. Raptors are divided into two main groups, signifying their primary defining habit. Nocturnal or night flying, and diurnal or day flying, also known as the falconiformes. And within those two, Raptors are further divided into seven distinct families. Hawks, eagles, harriers, buzzards, vultures, and kites make up the first diurnal family, except today. With over 220 species, though diverse, they are all genetically linked. They range greatly in size, from the nearly four feet tall Cinereus vulture to the tiny pearl kite at nine inches in length. With one thing in common being the notable size difference between the larger females and the smaller males. With female hawks being up to 50% larger than their male counterparts. Next among the families of raptors is Falconidae. Includes all falcons and caracaras, over 60 species in all. Differing from others in that they kill with their beaks rather than their feet. Employing a unique extrusion on the side of their upper mandible known as a tomial tooth that fits in a notch in the lower mandible, specifically intended to bite through the spinal cord of their prey. Another family is Pandionidae, which includes the osprey, also known as the seahawk, which together with the secretary bird is unique in that it constitutes its own family of species spread out nearly worldwide. The osprey can be found only near a body of water, where its preferred prey of fish can be found. There are significant anatomical differences, particularly in their highly articulated feet and rounded talons, have provided difficulties in ascertaining their evolutionary origins in relation to other raptors. The secretary bird has likewise been difficult to classify, aside from their own family of Sagittaridae. 
as one of the oldest raptors in existence, along with condors, as well as being one of the most distinct in appearance. It takes its name from the long distinctive quill-like feathers along its crest, giving it the appearance of a secretary with quill pens tucked behind her ear. The Catharchidae family of raptors is among the oldest, including vultures and condors found naturally in the New World. Once a fixture of the Old World, they have since been relegated to the temperate areas of the Americas, with a weaker, slight beak than other birds of prey. They are known for their large wingspans and stiff tails, enabling long-distance gliding and soaring. The Andean condor having the second largest wingspan of all birds. The two remaining families of raptors are also the only two primarily nocturnal ones. Strigidae being the typical, or otherwise known as true, owls. Made up of 189 living species, found on every continent but Antarctica. And Titani Day, consisting of barn and bay owls. Typically larger, and with more distinctive, large heart-shaped faces than the common owls. They are less prevalent with no species found in large portions of Asia, North America, and the Sahara. As with all birds, raptors descended from the dinosaurs, sharing their name with the dinosaurs closest in relation to birds. The word raptor itself is derived from the Latin word for seize or take by force. Raptors first emerged as their own separate group in the early Eocene period, around 50 million years ago. As the world was still recovering from mass extinction. And mammals, large and small, were taking over the land. The early raptors had a highly similar form to what we see in hawks and owls today only later diversifying into the group we know today. All are carnivorous, with only a few species supplementing their food with fruits. Most have acquired specialties and have become uniquely adapted to hunting their preferred prey, such as the shikra, occurring throughout Africa and Central Asia, feeding on lizards and frogs, or sparrowhawks, feeding mainly on smaller birds. Who reside across southeastern Europe and Asia Minor and sub-Saharan Africa. Most raptors also prey on carrion, or the carcass of large animals, scavenging whatever meat they can get from the dead, with the vultures of both the Old and the New World particularly known for this. The word vulture itself being synonymous with opportunistic scavenging. With a group of vultures feeding known as a wake. To further develop their scavenging abilities, vultures and condors have both developed either partially or fully bald heads to easily reach into the bodies of large carcasses and pick out as much meat as possible while remaining hygienic as well as regulate body temperature in hot climates. And usually for raptors, New World vultures also have developed a keen sense of smell, able to smell fallen prey up to a mile away. Though both Old and New World vultures share strikingly similar characteristics, they aren't believed to be closely related with their similarities being the result of inhabiting similar environments and roles in the food chain thus evolving in similar ways to better suit their selected niche. 
a concept known as convergent evolution. Similarly, falcons, falconets, kestrels, and caracaras have evolved to strongly resemble the other raptors, such as hawks and buzzards, while remaining only distantly related, having been one of the first families to diverge from the group. Despite their image of being fast-flying predators, with the peregrine falcon able to dive at speeds of more than 200 miles an hour, making it the fastest creature on Earth. Many members of Falconidae are similarly sedentary, several species stashing food supplies and caches. Generally solitary. Falcons hunt either alone or in pairs, only joining other falcons of the same kind during migration. Most raptors are either partially or wholly migratory birds. Like most hawks, who often migrate vast distances of thousands of miles. Hawks themselves often being divided into two subfamilies, the term applying to both true hawks found worldwide as well as buzzards of the Americas, also known as butanine hawks. With true hawks hunting from concealed perches, suddenly swooping down to grab their prey. Commonly other birds, fish and insects, while butanine hawks have larger wings, adapted for their higher altitude soaring and descending on their prey, which tends to be small rodents or reptiles, as well as fish. Harriers are known for their low flying behavior over open ground. also feeding mainly on small mammals and reptiles. Closely related are the kites, including the black kite, which is among the most abundant species of the family. Being found throughout the old world in Australia, where they can be found to eat any kind of small creature or carrion, as well as household refuse. as well as the nests of other black kites, making it uniquely cannibalistic among raptors. Though not a natural group, but a term for any large raptor of a certain size, eagles can be divided into four groups. Sea eagles, primarily feeding on fish, closely related to kites, including the bald eagle, known also as a national symbol for the United States. Snake eagles hunting snakes and other reptiles, with the Madagascar serpent eagle standing out as being unrelated to the rest. Harpy eagles being eagles with relatively short wingspans but large bodies inhabiting tropical forests, many of which are not directly related, which includes the Philippine eagle, a national symbol for the Philippines and severely endangered and true eagles, distinguished by their feathered lower legs or tarsi. That includes the smallest eagle, the booted eagle, which can still take down prey five times their own size. All are known to have eyesight far surpassing that of humans, with some eagles having over three times the level of vision. Due to their nocturnal nature, owls are typically found resting on a perch during the day in what is called roosting, a state of half-aware sleep where the owl's body temperature is significantly lowered. Though often perceived as tame, they rarely take flight when humans approach. 
They're actually relying on their stillness to avoid detection by predators. For the same reasons, owls are widely known for their thick, soft plumage, allowing them the ability of silent flight. With exceptionally sensitive large eyes giving them powerful binocular vision, though often colorblind, as well as a superior sense of hearing, enhanced by particular configurations of the feathers along the facial disc. Barn owls are highly similar in anatomy, though distinctly different in appearance from the true owls. They are divided into two groups, the first being Tito owls, which are larger, lack ear-like tufts, and have a heart-shaped face. Distributed throughout Europe, parts of Asia, Southern Africa, and the Americas. Some recently extinct flightless species of the Caribbean being some of the biggest birds known to man. The second group being bay owls, which are smaller, have visible ear-like tufts, and a more divided U-shaped face, and are considerably more rare, with only three species in existence. Found throughout Southeast Asia, India, and parts of the Congo. As with most birds, raptors form monogamous pairs, at least for the duration of the mating season, if not for life. With mating preceded by a period of courtship, including loud mating calls, and males pursuing the females in a grand aerial display. With male harriers flying around in circles and loops to court the female. The mating act itself is rarely observed and quick, often occurring only after the nest has been built out of sticks, twigs, and dry leaves, with both the male and female frequently cooperating in the construction of simple, low, hollow nests, with the exception of falcons, who co-opt the nests of other birds. Soon the female lays between one to six eggs, depending on the breed all with hard, relatively thick shells made out of calcium carbonate, the same substance found in the shell of a snail. Both parents also aid in incubating the eggs, as well as taking care of the young. Making multiple trips to bring home light prey, such as insects and small rodents, to the often lightly feathered chicks, sometimes hundreds of times a day. A few of the more social raptors are, however, instead colonial and employ allo parenting strategies. Where other birds of the same flock or kettle assist in taking care of the eggs and eventual chicks, often being an older brood of the same parents. Commonly, the nests are very large. And with certain exceptions, such as the secretary bird, set on tree branches vigilantly guarded, with the parents or members of the same group never being far behind. Raptors have long been symbolic staple in most cultures around the world, often deified and hailed as emblems for royalty or power. or in the case of the vulture, a symbol of death and decay. Eagles in particular have historically been worshiped around the world. Due to their immense size and long range, appearing as gods or omens to Native Americans, as well as part of Greek mythology, and biblical symbolism. As well as a notable insignia used by the Nazi party of Germany. Similarly, ospreys have been considered kings of both sea and air. with popular depictions mirroring the bald or white eagle as equally regal. While hawks have become synonymous with fierceness and aggression,
with both falcons and hawks often being trained for hunting and sport. With their handlers known as either falconers, for those flying a falcon, or awestringers, for those flying a hawk. or in rare cases, an eagle. A practice first started in 700 BC in Mesopotamia. And shortly thereafter in China. Most common breeds used today being the red-tailed hawk and Harris hawk. able to take down small prey such as other birds, hares, and rabbits. With a few ostringers, such as in Kazakhstan and Mongolia, using eagles to take down larger prey, including foxes and wolves. Though many smaller raptors, such as falcons, kites, and hawks, remain abundant due to their willingness to adapt to human settlements. Able to feed on common urban and rural rodents, Many more of the larger breeds of raptors are now endangered or vulnerable. Unlike other birds, not so much due to hunting as it is due to prey depletion and loss of their natural habitats. With particularly eagles, vultures, and larger owls being vulnerable as they require large, specialized habitats. Though they may be soaring high now. The future doesn't bode well for the great raptors. Only the most intensive preservation efforts may be successful in saving these kings of the sky. For now, birds of prey continue to rule the heavens as one of the last remaining predators on Earth.